This is Victor. Right, you'll all be in the frame. You'll all have a chance to talk, but you got to stand still so we can actually start this. Are you gonna ask so, us what we like or something? I'll say that'll I like be part cookies. of it. Cookies. This is we're, gonna get, we're gonna get a, cookies. We're gonna get a little deeper than that. All right. But why don't you tell us uh, where you're from and who you're with today? Um, I'm from Brexville, Broadview Heights, Ohio. I'm here with my buddies Kyle, <laughs> Stephen, Chris Island, C.J. Schwirtle, and my boy Joey Freighter. Are you here with a school group? Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. What school do you go to? Rexville Bravio Heights Middle School. Is that a government-run school? No. no. Oh, well, you're very lucky then. So you, you, do you think you guys are getting a, a good education there? Yeah. Yes. yes. Very well, good. Well, you're here in... Shout out to Ms. Schneider. There you go. And Mrs. Lloyd, my favorite teacher in the world. I love you. All right, well, let me ask you some questions here that I think are appropriate for visiting the White House in Washington, hey. D.C. What is freedom? Freedom is your ability Ooh. to be free. And do whatever you well, want. Well, then what does it mean to be free? Have your rights, have your rights. not being taken away. To have your own rights. To have your own rights. Okay. Basic okay. rights. To make your own decisions. Do you think you're free here in America? Yes. 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 Under yes. some circumstances, yes. I have yes. an example. To an Religion. To an extent. Well, what is a slave? A Someone oh. that works for no money. Oh. It's no someone rights. that is abused for labor and does not have their will against work. No comment. You happy with that? All right. Well, then let me ask you a more specific question. How much money do you owe as your share of the national debt when you turn 18? How much of that are you going to be responsible for? Do you know? No. 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 As a responsible answer, I will answer that. No. Well, I mean, if you guys are getting a good education, you'd think you'd want something that's going to prepare you for when you turn 18 and have these kind of responsibilities, right? Yeah. Like, you'd want to know what you're on the hook for. Yeah. You know, if you're going to yeah. be on the hook for a lot of money because your parents set you up for that or prior generations, you know, you would, you would think that you'd, you'd want to know about this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I told you that your share of the national debt is over $50,000? I'd say I believe you. I believe you on that one. That. I believe you, too. That's actually very conservatively estimated. If you include all the liabilities, it's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So let me ask you another. This is another really important question for what you're going to be facing when you turn 18. How much does the average working American pay in taxes? She knows. I'm going to have to go with, I think that it's 0.714% in Cuyahoga County is my guess. If, if it was just that, we'd all be very fortunate. Is it more than that, more than 0.7%? Uh, Ten thousand dollars. How much does the average American pay in taxes? Ten percent of their salary. Ten percent. That would also be a big improvement. Oh, fifteen. Let me hold on. I'll give you. All right. All right. Maybe maybe there are a couple gaps in this wonderful education you're getting because you should know that the average American pays half, fully. 50% of what they make when you add up all of the taxes, all the fines, fees, and other costs of government, and this isn't even counting the inflation tax that you pay from the dollar being devalued every time the government creates more money through the banking system, right? Mm -hmm. So, or the bankers create money in fractional reserve. You haven't heard of fractional reserve banking yet, have you? No, no, no you're sir. saying I don't know. Just going out on a limb there. But let me ask you guys a question then. What does it say about you when you turn 18, having never voted for any of these policies, having never voted for any politicians that have made these spending decisions, having never had a say in this, that you are going to be asked to pay for the rest of your life for the decisions that your parents made, who they voted for, the mistakes of the scumbag politicians that they put in office here, and you're going to be asked to pay half your income for the rest of your life for government. How does that make you feel? Not very good. Did, wait, did we lose somebody? Is he uh, t too tough of a question? No, I just happen to be one of those scumbag uh, politicians. My mama. Excuse me? Well, do you want to have a conversation? You're calling me a scumbag politician? No, I, said I just happen to be one of them. Oh, you are. Well, would you like to talk about it? No, but you know, why don't you talk to some miners that don't know what's going on? They came up to us. Yeah, we're talking to miners because they don't know what's going on, asking questions, hoping to talk about important issues and educate them. But I guess I guess they don't want you to be asked difficult questions. This is a fair representation right. of a politician right here, running away. <laughs> All right, well, we ran into one of those scumbag politicians that just so happens to be right here as a chaperone for this group. As soon as we got to the interesting part, whoosh, don't ask difficult questions. That's complicated. I think if, some, if somebody had the answer, they'd be a lot better off than I am. Yeah.